guys, this is Jiyoung from Virginia. Um, right now I'm in Old Town. I don't know the name, <laughs> but it's beautiful. Um, today I wanted to share something that I learned from Matthew Hussey retreat. It's about talking in elephant language. So, so I have this bracelet. It's like an elephant bracelet that I got as a gift from Matthew Hussey retreat. And the elephant language is like I learned this analogy about like I took a photo I don't know if you can see this um, there are two elephant imagine there are two elephants like standing next to each other and then there's a human being as a rider on top of the elephant so the rider is trying to talk to each other but elephant is huge so when they try to talk to each other it's kind of far away it's hard to communicate to each other but if you use elephant to communicate to each other, it's much easier because elephant is already rubbing their asses. <laughs> so this analogy is about like the rider as a conscious mind or logical mind, and the elephant as a emotional, you know, like a emotional level of communication. So have you heard the saying? If you are internet marketer, maybe um, fact don't sell stories sell you know that kind of thing you need to bring up the emotion from people and also when you want to communicate effectively you really need to communicate in a emotional level so um, yeah and so I wanted to share like today I was today is my friend's uh, birthday and he's my dear friend um, and and I was asking if his son came to celebrate his birthday and then he said his son doesn't come come over these days anymore any that often or anymore or something like that and I know they have some kind of tension between father or the parents and the son and I know it would be great for him to to somehow communicate with his son to 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 have him over more often or more uh, be connected right so yeah, I learned this analogy, but also still I'm like, like I'm still like, like learning and um, improving myself about this how to communicate in a, a elephant language. So yeah, I'll give you some example. So now we are part of this Facebook group with all these amazing ladies that I met at the Matthew Hussey retreat. So one lady she shared her um, um, her results of using this elephant language. So she was on this um, online dating site and usually I am guilty of this too. Still I was doing my um, writer talking <laughs> until I saw her message and until I changed it today and I had an amazing result. So anyway, so what she shared was, you know, like uh, from Matthew Hussey Retreat, he said, there are a lot of men out there, uh, although you feel like men are like animals and they wanna, they wanna just, like uh, they want instant gratification but there are also great men out there who misses like uh, romance or dating and courting things like that so this lady she went on her uh, online dating profile and she you know usual thing like we write down what we want I don't know that's only me I don't know but usually when I post my ad I put like long list of who I am what I want and you know long list of like what I want from men and all that stuff it's like just talking into writers you know style right not like elephant language doesn't really like like uh, communicate in an emotional level or deeper level right so still I was doing that and I saw her message that um, she thought I screw my profile and she erased that profile and then she wrote like I know there are great guys out there somewhere that who still who wants to connect and miss this romance or dating or courting if you are the, that kind of great man like contact me or something like that and then she got a lot of replies like unlike her usual uh, like uh, situation so she shared that and I was ah oh. yeah I thought like I oh, I forgot about this I forgot about I knew I learned this elephant analogy but I still was doing the same thing because it's hard to change have it right away sometimes you need to practice and you need to keep doing and improve it right so after seeing her message so today I posted my ad not for dating or anything but platonic thing and I used 
elephant language and I got so many replies <laughs> I haven't replied back to the people but I was so so happy to see it works right so so when I like communicate with my friend on Facebook message so I want to share with my friend like we need to learn how to talk in elephant language so somehow so another thing I also learned from Matthew Hussey was you know like we give we give first and don't expect uh, anything from the other person if you give something gift just gift and don't expect anything back that is like uh, and also there's a you have you might heard receive procation <laughs> I don't know if like right pronunciation but like you know the the law of receive pro certification or something you know so you know when you give people want to give back you know that kind of uh, human nature right if they are nice <laughs> so anyway but also in a way there was one lady she she uh, raised her hand and she shared her um, her goal one of her goal was being more closer to her son and she was trying to figure out activities that she can be closer to his son her son so activities to be more closer to her son and rituals that she can do and Matthew heard about that Matthew or his father I don't remember Steve but anyway like like they said um, ah, Matthew said if you do that just do it for him but not thinking to get back in return you know so do it for him you know that kind of um, advice he gave so um, so I know like a lot of parents um, they love their their children but also they want to get something back you know when they raise their children they also maybe hope they hope the best from the, their son or their children but also they have a kind of uh, expectation they want to get something back maybe you know many Korean parents they do their best to raise their children giving the best education and everything but also in return they expect something out of them they expect them to be nicer to them take care of them when they're old and all this and that and they want to control their life sometimes I feel sometimes it's like it's kind of like they have agenda and selfish right purpose behind it and so I feel I feel like I don't know like I'm not parent or anything but somehow I wanted to share uh, like yeah I feel like think about think of like some things that you can just give and not expect anything in return and if you are really nice to the person if the person feels your heart they want to give back to you naturally I think <laughs> I think yeah because you they feel your heart your pure intention so so maybe try play with it and experiment with it and let me know if you experiment and see anything uh, positive result from it I'm curious yeah yeah I cannot imagine you know, I'm not parent or anything but somehow I feel it might work without this is human nature thing right so between lovers or girlfriend boyfriend husband and wife or just co-workers or parents and children it will work I feel right so try it try that so like I really like big like wanna like really big reminder for me to learn from the Matthew House retreat was you know like um, just giving and gifting and not expecting anything in return something that kind of spirit you know yeah because we usually want to get things back you know give and take kind of mind right it's not like a transactional you know that kind of thing like Matthew say he's really like I really he's like my mentor now <laughs> So anyway, I learned so much from him but like biggest one of the biggest thing was giving you know that kind of love and that pure heart and kindness and you know how can I help or how can I be a value to this person's life and how can I contribute to this person's life that kind of thinking right in business or relationship that's really um, what makes the relationship or business uh, great like by as a byproduct right they say yeah, I didn't like uh, practice that also myself. Yeah, but they again like yesterday I was watching this video from Infinite Waters dive diving deep in you know that 
Ralph, you know, this gentleman, I, I love his video and message. So he posted a message about how to be um, prosper, pro, how to be prosperous. And, um, and then the, the basic thing was giving value and creating content and value to the people or world out there and the money or the thing will come back as a byproduct. Yeah, that kind of thing. I overheard about I overheard it whenever I went to trainings or conferences. But still I didn't really do it. But like as you can see, I try my best now like share the wisdom or knowledge or information that I know that can be helpful for people out there. So I feel like so good. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I, I had a, my thing in my head, it has to be perfect or I feel like uh, I don't know if I can do well or something, that kind of thinking. But yeah, even if it's not perfect, just do it and just stuff, do stuff, you know, made, made you say, just do stuff and it will lead to stuff, you know. So anyway, that's, I don't know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let me know what you think about this video. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this beautiful background and and sunshine and green color and the water and the skies at least <laughs> yeah let me know what you think about this and if you uh yeah share with me and comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and check out happyjiang.com more often because i'm sharing a lot of uh, great things it will be like what i learn about personal development life skills and mindset to to health and wellness, natural healing, aromatherapy, sex and orgasm, dating, relationship, marriage, whatever that I am interested in, I'll share more often. So anyway, have an awesome day, create awesome day. So again, you know, this is another gift from Matthew Hossi retreat. So can you see like a weight, weight and the other side is, it says create. So don't wait and create. So. Yeah, it's a reminder for myself as well, and also a reminder for myself to talk elephant language, right? So, yeah. I hope this is helpful, and thank you for watching my videos, and your comment, or share, or support, following my journey, and your positive good vibe. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>